So we're going to get that in the chair. And then, Mr. Wallace, what we're going to do first of all is roll you to your side and get you sitting up. And then Mr. <laughs> Wallace is going to say something to you about that. Hopefully he'll be cooperative. It matters who's on the controls. All right, I'm ready when you are. Yeah. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, do you need more room over there? Uh, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Pad. Mm -hmm. Alright, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. how's that? Yeah. More? Okay. Be careful you don't step on his data port entry line. <laughs> 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 All right, Mr. Wallace, I want you to help out as much as you can. We're going to roll over on this side over here. All right, uh, it's not practical. It would be nice to bend up his knees like kind of we practice. His knees won't do that enough. He can't cross his legs over. There's just his hips don't have much, so you can't really cross it over. Uh, what if he was already close to the edge right here? What would we do? So we could we could grab the pad and move him over that way some more if we need to. All right, even though he can't move, we're going to go ahead and assume that he has the potential to move, so I'm going to ask him to help out. You ready over there? Yep. All right, you help us out, Mr. Wallace. On the count of three, we're going to roll over to your left side over here. All right, you ready? He's going to tell me he is, I'm sure. All right, on three. One, two, three. All right, it's all right. I got you. We're pretty close to the side, aren't we? Over Moving over what this is. Uh, what it's called? Yeah. Chuck. Chuck. In the, in the hospital, it'll be, you'll hear the chuck. All right. Do you want to stay right there? Yeah. All right. Here's where it gets tricky. And all right. Do uh, you want to tell them what you just did there? Yeah. These are probably going to, a good chance these are going to be dirty. Um, and so the best thing is, is to stay off the bed. That's impossible sometimes. So when you do get on the bed, always just take this, throw it over, and generally have another chuck or a sheet to throw down on top of it to where you can put your leg up. All right. And the thing to be careful of here again is he doesn't flex at his elbow or his fingers. So we're going to have to watch out for that. I'm going to go ahead and try to move it a little bit. All right. You ready, Mr. Wallace? You ready, Keith? Yep. On three. Let's see you try to sit up for us. One, two, three. Up we go. And this is where you usually have to move a little bit. All right. Oh, Keith says you're coming. Yeah, it's hanging out. Oh, okay. And that is one thing that's okay to take off. Right there. There we go. How are you doing, Mr. Wallace? Are you dizzy or lightheaded? All right. So let's think about a couple of things that could happen here. Um, so what if his O2 sats drop? Yeah, I can. Uh, drop below 90%. What can we do here? All right. We, again, we haven't officially gone over that. But, yeah, Mr. Wallace, I want you to breathe in through your nose and out through your lips. Out through your mouth, through pursed lips. So we'll let him do that for a little bit. What if uh, the O2 sats still do not go below 90%? Do we need to lie them down? Not necessarily. Give it some time. Uh, uh, some patients just don't go above 90%. Uh, but in general, we don't want to transfer him if he's short of breath and if his O2 sats are below 90%. What if he's feeling dizzy or lightheaded? What's a typical thing you would, you would say? All right, try to move your feet back and forth. And his don't, but we're going to try to get him to do that. Uh, if he's still feeling lightheaded, do we go ahead and move to the chair? Mm -hmm. Generally, we don't want to transfer someone who's dizzy or lightheaded. So if we give it some time, it's a good chance it's going to go away. 
All right, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't force it if he's still dizzy or lightheaded. What if he's getting even more dizzy or lightheaded? Might be a good time to lay it down. And then that's it, we go to the next patient, right? I'd probably give it at least one more try uh, because sometimes that's what it takes. Do you just want to keep that off uh, yeah, while we transfer? Not going to yeah. Stay. Yeah. So. All, right. All right. So uh, now what we want to do is get our, like I said, it falls over easy. Uh, we'll try to get our lines in a good place where he's not going to be sitting on them and we're not going to pull anything out when we do the transfer. By the way, I've got a gate belt over there. Can someone hand that to me? And the gate belt will be in here, by the way. Uh, or you can bring your own gate belt and use it. Are you able to put a hand on him so I can? Yeah. Okay. That's where you're sitting, huh? Yep. He's doing pretty well. Good job, Mr. Wallace. Oh, good money. <laughs> Okay, you still got him? Yeah. Oh. Just checking that chest. All right, I'm going to move his catheter. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and move his catheter to the other side of the chair over here so that he won't be sitting on it, hopefully, uh, once we do the transfer. All right, I'm going to move the uh -huh. chair closer. Uh -huh. All right, I don't, want a, I don't want a big gap between him and the chair over here. When we're doing this transfer, if something goes wrong, it's easy for him to set him over here. Easy to set him down in here. Here's that danger zone, it's in its V. And so that's where you really wanna be careful. If something happens right in through here, you can't get back there and you can't get over here, a lot of times you end up in the floor. So this is what you really wanna protect. All right, and so how high should the bed be when I do the transfer? So it'd be nice to have his feet on the ground uh, but again, that'll be a little bit difficult because of his, his knees want to go into extension. Uh, but also, if it's up a little bit, it's easier for me to get him standing up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go down a at least a little bit more. You okay over there? Yep. I'm not going to lower the bed on you. All right. Uh, Mr. Wallace, let's see if you can move forward for me. Can you move this side forward? There we go. Let's move the other side forward there. When you have a chest tube and you're putting the bed down, be careful of the, of the container because somehow it will always manage to find its way in the way of the bed going down. That's right. Yeah, so, so a big part of this is keeping track of all the lines and all the stuff that's attached to them. That's kind of the challenging part. So the aid really has uh, a challenging part to all this too, even though the PTA is doing the main transfer here. All right, now some of you are strong enough just to lift them and put them in the chair. All right, I don't want, I want you to try not to do that. Uh, doing that throughout a day is just going to put a lot of stress on your back. So I'm gonna to try to get his feet on the ground. And it's not functional. That's right. And do my best to block him so that he's actually standing up on his feet and I'm not just suspending him in midair. All right, Keith, how do we look with all the lines? Good. Ready to go? I guess we'll just let that flop. Your license. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Wallace, on the count of three, by the way, can we do the four basics here? Yeah. So I already scooted him forward. I'm going to lean him forward. I got his feet underneath as far as I can with him. And I'm going to try to have him use his arms and legs, but, you know, he's not going to be able to, but I'm going to try to encourage that. You ready, Keith? Yep. All right, on the count of three, we're going to stand up, turn around, and have a seat right there. You ready to go? Hold on just one second. In, yep. in his, in, he's got the strength to do this. So what my role is going to be is more guiding instead of helping. Now, if you don't have that kind of strength, then the, your tech, your aide's going to have to help do more physically. Uh, but in my role, I'm, it's going to be more of just helping guide, having to hold that gate belt in case something happens. By the way, he's heavy, too. He's heavy. So he's like a real person. I'm not sure exactly how much he weighs. I think he's around 80 pounds, but it feels about 160. Oh, okay, I thought it was more than that. <laughs> no, it, okay. it, it feels double. Okay. All right. 
So on the count of three, let's go stand up and turn around and have a seat. Here we go. One, two, and three. All right, do we look good? Yep. Now, nice and smooth. You gotta watch out that his hand doesn't get caught in the chair right there. There we go. All right, and if he's not it's all the- It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna, if he's not all the way back, we can do what we practice in class instead of scooting back. Or we can also, you want to show them the double where you get oh. underneath the shoulders? Yep. All right, on the count of three, you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> And then one other way is uh, is just kind of to grab by the sheet. Uh, sometimes that works well, sometimes it doesn't. All right, so you got him to the chair, and then you're going to get him back to bed. And it might be a high-stress situation when you do this. He might be complaining of dizziness and lightheadedness, which means you need to move pretty quickly. All Blood right. pressure could be high, SATs could be low. That's right. He could be screaming. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff that could be going on. All right, so one of the things as much as possible is try to get the bed ready uh, for when you get them in so you don't have to arrange stuff so much once you get there. All right, and what's one of the typical things that makes it hard when you do a transfer as far as getting him situated in bed? It's getting him too far down to the foot of the bed. So we're going to try to get him up uh, at a good place where his head's going to be uh, at the head of the bed there. All right, four basics. So what do I need to do here? All right, Mr. Wallace, can you scoot forward? And again, the chair will move, so I'm, I'm bracing the chair right here. Let's scoot this side forward. Get your hands forward. There we go. Let's move this hand. All right, can you scoot your other side forward? That's it. How about this side? That's good. All right, and again, I'm going to try to get his feet on the ground. Try to bend this foot back. All right. All right, and again, we're going to have to watch out for this hand. I might even put it up here. Go all the way. You ready, Keith? Yep. All right, Mr. Wallace, on the count of three. Let's stand up and go to the bed. Here we go. One, two, and three. That's it. All right, now I'm just going to get him on enough so I can move his hand out of the way. All right, let's keep going. And then Mr. Jenkins is going to get to the back. Let me just scoot him back a little bit on there. There we go. And the other side, let's go back. There we go. All right, little tip. Take off the belt before <laughs> you lie him down. You doing okay, Mr. Wallace? And he'll tell you how he's doing. Just <laughs> no heart rate. <laughs> Did we lose a line? It's on the side, I think. Yeah. I think he lost, lost his side over here. He lost over here? Yeah. Yeah. He's ready for a nap. <laughs> yeah, we lost we lost all power. <laughs> oh really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right here. It's coming loose right here. Okay. So that. So we'll try not to make that happen when you when you do yours. If it does, we'll come in and plug it back in. Uh, can you grab him for a second? All right. I'm going to rearrange his lines now to get him ready to get back in. So, so we don't want to pull anything out. <laughs> Darn. I thought I was doing so well. 
Oh, that would have been a real cat. It would have been at a balloon. It goes in, balloon blows up. That's what helps secure it. Uh, I, I am a little embarrassed. That's one of my main goals is not to let that happen. So let's see if you can do better than I did with that. All right. Let's see if you can. Yeah, they'll let you know. <laughs> All right. Are we ready to lie down, or do we? Is this in a good place? Yeah, I'll, I'll, once we, uh, that's actually, that's good. Poor guy. Yeah, because he's up and down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that right there is probably yeah. sitting. 